What's up everyone, my name is Art West with No Code Devs and today we're gonna build a membership driven site with Editor X. Members are native to Editor X so that means it's super easy to set up and you get all kinds of baked in functionality like forums, member specific pages, you could build something like a dashboard, you could paywall, paywall certain pages. It's really exciting, there's a ton that you could do but we're gonna show you how easy it is to get started today. We'll go through how to set up a page from scratch and then add member functionality with social logins in just a few minutes. Let's go and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Today, we are gonna be adding membership functionality to our site, and I'm gonna show you how to build pages that are specific to your site members, so only your site members can see these pages. This is really cool. It's all native within Editor X, and it'll only take a few minutes to get set up, so let's go ahead and get going. So this is Editor X. We are walking through the onboarding of building a new site. It's it's working us through their sort of theme catalog. We're gonna skip all of this. We're actually just gonna choose blank canvas. So we're gonna get a page built for us that just has like a header, a body, and a footer with no other elements. As you can see, header or nav bar, body, and the footer. Three basic elements that every web page, you know, must have. So right now our site is not published and we don't have any information on it. What we want to do is we want to go up to this top bar where we have some, this top navigation bar where we have some, some items that we can do. We can add elements, we can layers, masters, pages, site styles, and here we go, app market. So this is what we want to choose. We're actually going to install an app into our site. So this is really cool. Editor X and Wix have a ton of different apps that you can install into your site. Everything from SEO to marketing to like social media stuff, drop shipping, and really everything in between. But what we're gonna install today is members. So we're gonna install a members area. We can just click add to our site. And what's really cool is that this will go through the steps of configuring our pages, adding the elements that we need and creating everything for us. Now we can change, you know, the native functionality of this and how it looks and add additional components like a forum or a member chat or other things that we want, but it builds the basic structure for us so that we don't have to do it, which is super, super nice. So right now we see the page that was actually just constructed, which is our account page where you can update your basic account information. So super cool. We now have a home page and we have an account page. The next thing that we want to do is we want to build a page that would only be visible to specific site members or our site members, whatever we wanted to do for our use case. So let's go ahead and add a new page and it's gonna bring up a and create a completely new page. Let's call this our members area. Okay, and we don't have any information in this page, but if you you know wanted to add information into this page, like uh, you know welcome you know to your members with a video and then some information, you could even connect this to the CMS so you could have data-driven content available to your members if you were providing them with some sort of data service or data feed. But for now, let's just like put some text in here, and we'll just say this is the members area. Okay, great. So now we have this members area page. The problem is, is that this page is accessible to everybody on our site. So whether or not you're a member, you're signed to the site or anything like that, you'd be able to access this page. So what we want to do is we want to be able to create a page that only the logged in site members can see. So if we go to our pages here, there's these three ellipses here, these three dots next to members area, which is the page that we just created. If we click on those dots, we can click settings. And within the settings, we have all these additional tabs here from everything from SEO to your open graph, things like that. If we go to permissions, this is really where it gets pretty cool. So we can have the page available to everyone. We can password protect it, or right here, we can make it a members only page. So we can have this page be accessible to all members or only selected members or paying customers. This is where it gets even cooler. So basically you can 
set up certain permissions like collaborator or editor and, and allow certain site permissions to edit your page but that's more in the back end from like the cms and the publishing side of things you can also create plans so if we're going to click this create plan you can actually okay yeah you can actually add this app called Wix pricing plans, which these are all native, so they work really, really well to your site. We'll go ahead and install this. But essentially what you can do is you can set up, you know, you can set up like a, you know, a basic plan, let's say for $4.99 a month, and then you could set up a pro plan and then a VIP plan. And actually when you install this app, similarly to the members area, when you add plans, it actually builds a pricing page for you that looks really nice. So as you can see, it has already created this page. It put in some dummy data here. So we're sort of off and running already. So if we go back now, to our members area and we go back to settings and we go to permissions and we go to members only. So now we have these different pricing plans that we can add here. So they're not any plans right now. The page that we just saw was just like a, a pricing tables page, but we haven't actually created the plans. So if we come on here and we say, we're gonna add a new plan, this is gonna spin up. We could say basic. Okay, and we can decide if we wanna charge for this plan. We'll just keep this one free. We'll say it's free until canceled and we'll go ahead and click save here. So it looks like we successfully created our plan. So now if we go back to this page, our members only page, we wanna only make this available to our basic customers. We can click apply, super cool. So if we had like a gold level plan, you could make another page that was only available to your gold partners. You can do this at, on an unlimited level. So as you can imagine, this can get pretty, pretty awesome. You can create all kinds of different pages for different plans, different partners, different customers, that kind of thing. So this is super cool. So, okay. So we have this members area here. It is accessible at this link. You can actually go to the SEO basics and you can see what's the URL slug for this page. So let's just call this members. So our site uh, slash members, you can change the slugs for all your pages. The SEO tools are super powerful in here as well, which is really cool. So now that we've got this all done, we actually wanna go to the upper right. Let's go ahead and publish our page. We'll just call this editorx.io slash test and we'll click save. It's gonna go ahead and publish our site. Everything is super fast, which I really love. So here's our site, there is nothing here just our logo and our footer and our you know sort of nav bar and our body is empty here now this looks like it's overlapping so we would have to move that but there is actually a login button here which was built automatically so one of the things you know that's always really tough and challenging is building login functionality for our members and everything that comes along with that since we added the members module this is all done for us so now if we go ahead and click login we're not a member nobody's a member we just built this site so we want to actually say let's sign up and it actually has Facebook and Google Auth baked in natively so that you don't have to you know, require your members to manually put in information. You can just sign up with Google. I'll go ahead and do this. I will choose my Google account and just like that, I'm signed in and it actually brings my Google avatar. Now I can go ahead and click my account and look at that, all of my information is here on my account and I can edit it, you know, change it, update it, it all works. These sort of tabs and modules across the top are customizable. This is where you can plug in like a forum or a member chat. These are all Wix apps that you can install. They work beautifully with members. So if you just add a forum, then the member can have access to the forum. You can actually control permissions based on plans to different apps like forums. So it's super cool. You can do a lot of different things with it. So let's go um, back to the site here. Oh, let's find the site that we were working on. Okay, here it is. So sorry about that. Our URL is slash members. So if we go back here and we go to publish our site. Awesome. Here we go. Okay, I found it. Here's our site. We can just change the URL. I'm changing it up top here to slash members because we created that page. It actually says that this page is not found. Just a second. 
Ah, okay. So this was the URL is this art 9684edrx.io slash test slash members. I just put slash members. So that was a problem. Of course, you could build a navigation bar that could link to this page so that you wouldn't have to, you know, memorize the URL. We're just doing this for testing purposes, but let's go ahead and actually see if we can publish the site again. We'll go ahead and view it. And as soon as this loads up here, okay, slash test slash members. This is gonna load, there we are, we're in the members area. So now, let me go ahead and log out and try to access this same page. There we go. So it will not let you access this page because you are not signed in. So we have just gated a page using no code in Editor X in just about 10 minutes, which is super cool. I hope this gives you a preview of all the things that you can do with member functionality and gated content on Editor X. It gets really granular with the forum and the blogs and the permissions. You can do all kinds of really cool things. This is like a really high level overview of how you can get up set up quickly. Hope this was helpful for you. Enjoy playing around with Editor X and I hope you find this useful. Have a good day.